guys, it's Amber and I'm back with another video. So for today's video, it's gonna be a Q&A because I've been getting the same kinds of questions in my Curious Cat account. So I've decided to just make it into one video and this is that video. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear the fan. What I'm gonna be saying in this video and my answers are all based on my own experience and it might not be the same for other people. So I a disclaimer lang. It's mostly about school and college and my course, so yeah, let's get on to the questions. So yeah, let's start with the simple questions. Um, what's your course po? My course is BS in Medical Technology. Saan po kayo nag-aaral? Far Eastern University, Manila. What year na po kayo ngayon and anong year na po kayo? Sa school year 2020-2021. Um, I'm currently in my second semester of my freshman year. And, actually, tapos na, but wala pa yung grades. So, hopefully, second year na ako next sem. <laughs> Let's go to the SHS questions first. Kasi konti lang siya. Sa DLS, you main po ba kayo nag-SHS? It's not actually called main. But yeah, sa DLS yung Manila ako nag-SHS. Ilan po kayo sa room nung SHS? Ang random ah, pero 40 yata. Pinaka-memorable experience with 12G. Feeling ko yung ano, sa bio. <laughs> this is another med me and SHS question. But, someone asked, When did I start cheerleading? Grade 9? Where do you train bukod sa school? Wala, sa school lang talaga. And I'm not even that good. <laughs> Na-enjoy ko lang talaga siya before. Ano po ginawa niya sa tryouts? Hindi po ba magaling mag-tumbling? Actually, depends naman kasi siya sa, sa salihan mo. Kasi nung, nag, nung nag-start ako sa, old, sa junior high school ko, um... Mayroon lang ako mag-cartway, pero yun lang. <laughs> pero, I don't know. Hindi ko rin alam kung paano ako nakasali. <laughs> Tapos, nung nag-SHS naman, for SHS kasi, second batch pa lang kami nun. So, medyo new pa. New pa yung concept din ng clubs and orgs for SHS. Kasi since in second batch pa lang kami ng SHS nung time na yun. So, basically, second batch pa lang din kami nung SHS na pep nun. So, I guess hindi siya ganun ka-strict pa nung time na yun. Pero, I think now, mas stricter na sila sa requirements. But, di ko talaga sure. Kasi depende talaga yun sa sasalihan mo. Hindi ko lang bakit niya ako tinatanong nito. Hindi naman ako magaling. But, ayun, if you're planning to join a team, then try to ask questions from people from that team kung anong kailangan or anong requirements para mapaghandaan mo if you really want. Just work hard and be yourself and ipakita mo na you're willing to learn and you're willing to work hard. Ayun lang. Okay, so let's move on to the main part of this video, college life. I'm gonna say a bunch of questions that are related to each other and I'll answer it as a whole. Did you try applying for UST MedTech? Bakit hindi ka nag-UST MedTech? Bakit mo pinili yung FEU? Ayun, Puro nag-try po ba kayo sa UST for MedTech? Okay, so story time. Medyo mahaba to guys. Actually, hindi naman. FAU wasn't really my first choice. Um, actually, yes, nag-apply ako sa UST. But then, iba yung course na napasukan ko dun. So, out na siya sa choices ko after. Kasi, I don't want to go to UST naman if hindi medtech yung course ko. So, the story is, after 
na wala yung USD sa choices ko. I was choosing between staying in DLSU in a different course, pero nasa dulo yun ng list ko because iba nga yung course and I wanted medtech. And, and then, De La Salle Health Sciences Institute in DASMA, FEU Manila, and FEU NRMF. Yung FEU NRMF, nawala siya sa list ko because di ako nag-take ng exam. Because, okay, so let's go to La Salle HSI. I applied to La Salle HSI, and then I took the test. Then I got in. Kasi ang bilis lang ng process sa kanila. So, I got in, and then it was actually really set on going to HSI already. Like, pag reserve na ako ng slot for medtech din, and pati nga dorm na reserve na ako. I was actually really set on going to HSI because it's a great medtech school. It's also a great med school already. But, syempre ang layo niya. So, yun din yung isa sa pinag-isipan ko. But since ang bilis ng process, ang bilis ko rin nag-decide na doon na lang ako. And then, after, after nun, di ba since March yun, nung April, hindi ko na tinake yung FUN or MF since naka-reserve na ako sa HSI. And actually, enrollment na lang talaga yung hinihintay namin for HSI. And then, nagparamdam sa FEU Manila. And basta may email and then sabi na qualified ako for scholarship. So parang sayang naman and if I don't apply. So since ang tagal ko nag-decide, actually di ako mabot sa slots for scholarship. And ayun. So pinag-isipan ko after nun if tutuloy ko na ba yung HSI or pipiliin ko na yung FEU even without a scholarship. And ayun, I ended up choosing FE. So, my next question is, would you suggest FEU MedTech? Or ibang school must prefer mo sana? And, hello po, I'm thinking about going to FEU for MedTech. Maganda po ba FEU in general? Yung people, quality of teaching, kamusta po? Maganda po ba yung facilities? And, ayun, pero, how's FEU? Ganon. Um, dun tayo sa... Would you suggest FEU for medtech? It depends. Because if you're someone na konting hirap lang, ayaw na agad, I suggest don't start with FEU medtech na. Because maraming first time pa lang mag-shift na after. But that's also because they realize naman na hindi medtech yung para sa kanila. And honestly, I really had a hard time adjusting then. Like, my point then, I wanted to shift, I wanted to transfer schools, but I'm still here. What I like about FU MedTech is that they really push you to be part of the best. But even though I like that, sometimes yun din yung bad part. Di naman bad part, pero yun din yung downside. Because sometimes... All they think about is the name and the standards, and minsan ang hirap abutin kasi pagmo ko parang hirap ng system actually. Parang sometimes puro pa hirap na lang. In my opinion lang naman. Um, but it's good naman talaga kasi tinitrain na talaga nila yung students. Maganda po ba sa FEU in general yung people quality of teaching? Yung quality of teaching naman kasi, depende talaga yun sa prof. There are a lot of good profs in FEU. Related to that, to profs, may nagtanong din if marami po bang approachable na profs. Yes, madami approachable na profs. And sila talaga yung profs na ma-enjoy mo yung tinuturo nila kahit mahirap. Actually, medyo swerte naman ako sa prof ngayong year. I guess, may mga onti lang na medyo ano, pero <laughs> most of the time, maayos props ko. So, ayun, maganda po ba sa FAU in general and yung people? Sa people naman tayo, yes, I know a lot of people are judging students from FAU and I really don't understand why because sobrang 
bait ng mga tao sa FEU and sobrang welcoming, sobrang approachable. Sobrang mafe-feel mo na at home ka with the people in FEU. So, here's a question related to people then. How did you meet your college friends? Um, <laughs> how did I meet my college friends? Um, for Tusok fam, I'm gonna include pictures of us here. For Tusok fam, um, I met them sa Medtech GC last year and Sobrang thankful ko sa pagka-FC ko kasi nasali ako sa kanila and until now, we really bond like family. And parang before school pa lang, sobrang close na kami and nandiyan na talaga kami for each other. And tuloy-tuloy na yon until now, sila yung kasama ko mag-dinner, mag-aral. Ayun, sila din yung lagi ko talagang kasama outside school. So, for my other friends naman, um, blockmates ko, Yung blockmates ko, nung first sem, um, friends ko pa rin sila until now. Pero nagkahiwalay kasi kami nung second sem, like, nahiwalay yung group kasi nung enrollment. Basta mahirap nung enrollment. Um, other friends naman, I met them dahil sa mga orgs and events, ganun. Ano po yung mga advice nyo? Kainan inside FEU and saan po comfortable mag-aral? Um, kainan. <laughs> Ikaw na mag-find out niyan. <laughs> but, most of the time, pag wala kaming masyadong time, nagtatayo man lang kami. It's inside FEU. And, pero most of the time, lumalabas kami. Or, yung canteen sa engineering building. <laughs> um, sa dorm kasi ako madalas mag-aral, but, Pag inside the campus, syempre library. Nag-aaral kami ng friends ko sa live kapag may quiz kami. Pag in between subjects, tapos may quiz kami. Usually kasi, mo coffee shop din ako ng tao. So, um, siguro, boost project. Boost project? <laughs> boost coffee sa Espanya. And, Mahilig din kami actually mag-study hub ng friends ko. Next question. Um, hello ate, ano pong hair color yung allowed sa FEU MedTech? Thank you po. Um, bawal ang hair color sa FEU MedTech. But, I guess, mas lenient sila eh, first year ko pa lang. Kasi, may mga nakita naman ako na medyo light pa yung buhok nila. But, ako brown yung hair ko. Pero, hindi na siya masyado halata ngayon. Nung una halata siya. But then, pag nasa higher years na, bawal na talaga yung hair color. Hi, I wanna ask if hindi ba nag-uniform sa FEU like yung hindi polo, ganun. So, yung uniform namin, institute polo siya. Tapos, jeans or pants. Pwedeng square pants or regular jeans. But, depends sa course mo kung kailan yung clinical or corporate uniform nyo. But for FEU MedTech, um, third year pa mag- clinical uniform, which is yung white uniform. Do you live near FEU po? Walking distance or commute? Yes, I live near FEU. Nagdodorm po ako. So, next question is, is MedTech really the best pre-med? Honestly, for me, medyo, joke. <laughs> um, like how other people would say naman, there's no really best pre-med. But for medtech kasi, like other pre-meds, meron kang magiging edge when it comes to med school. And yung, pag yung clinical subjects namin sa third year, matitake ulit siya sa med. So, yung mga subjects na yun, magiging familiar na kami doon pagpasok namin sa med. And, Parang, siguro it's gonna be a bit easier since we're already familiar and parang alam na namin kung paano namin aaralin and i-approach yung subject na yun since na-take na. But, honestly naman kasi, I'm not in med pa, pero I know naman na it's gonna be a whole new world and everyone's gonna adjust again when 
we go to med school. I think na all pre-meds have equal edge, I guess. Siguro lang kasi for medtech, baka mas madami yung subjects na madadaanan na namin na uulitin sa med. Ayun, that's what I think. But, wala pa naman ako sa med, so I don't really know. Next question is, mahirap po ba mag medtech? First year pa lang ako, so hindi pa siya ganun kahirap. Pero mahirap na siya. <laughs> But, like all courses naman, mahirap ang medtech. Ang mayap kasi sa medtech, yung memorization, and you really have to understand kung paano nangyayari yung mga bagay-bagay. So, sometimes parang sobrang information overload na lang talaga siya. So, sobrang dami na aralin. So, I guess yun yung mahirap sa medtech. Ano po yung experience nyo ng first sem bilang medtech? <laughs> Um, for some was a really big adjustment for me. I mean, yun yung first tapak mo sa college. And even though I came from a university setting already nung SHS, parang iba pa din nung nag-FEU medtech na ako. Kasi, syempre iba yung school, iba yung system, and iba yung pag-approach sa lahat ng bagay. And experience, good or bad, joke. Um, basta sobrang nahirapan talaga ako ng first sem. Sobrang ginapang ko siya. And nalula ako sa dami ng inaaral. Parang nag-info overload. And sobrang na-frustrate ako. And my point na parang inisip ko if tawa pa ba yung ginagawa ko, if tawa ba yung path ko. But, sobrang fulfilling after I passed and survived first sem. Grabe, first sem. Alam nyo ba, guys, yung first moving, ay, hindi siya first moving, yung midterms na moving exam namin for Anafi, practical. So, lang po masa sa class ko. Oh my gosh. Ganun kahirap. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Pati sa yung chem lab midterms namin. Pero baka kasi, basta mahirap magpa-exam ng prof namin dun. Tapos, wala rin pumasa kahit isa. Sobrang frustrating yung ganun feeling. Lalo na kung nag-aral ka talaga. Tapos, ganun lang. Ito bang experiences ko? Actually, I'm gonna post a vlog from my first sem. Parang, two weeks in my life siya na video. And I'm gonna post that after this video. So, watch it if you want a glimpse of my FEU medtech life. <laughs> Best memories in college so far. I'm gonna include pictures. So, meeting new people, joining my orgs, ISSC and MTSOC, um, Natcon experience, sobrang solid. Parang yun yung changing point ng ano ko. First time ko. Um, what else? School events, actually. Parang lahat kasi memorable. And I really try to make everything memorable. Um, do you have any tips for someone who is shy and doesn't have self-confidence? I want to change the college na po. Um, shocks. <laughs> Siguro, for me kasi, medyo shy din talaga ako. Pero inunti-unti ko lang siya. So, maybe that's my main tip. Unti-untiin mo lang. Go out of your comfort zone and meet new people. Try new things. Join new things na you think would interest you. Um, surround yourself with people na matutulungan kang malabas yung confidence mo and matutulungan ka nila na mapakita mo pa yung potential mo. So, siguro yun. <laughs> That's my tip. Because sometimes hindi rin naman talaga ako confident. 
but when people see something in me na I don't see in myself, parang nafe-feel ko na, shucks, ang dami ko pa palang kayang gawin, ang dami ko pang pwedeng gawin. And then, knowing that, mas nagtitry ako na gumawa ng mga things na I didn't know na kaya ko. Parang, guess you a point ko. Ayun. Okay, so next question. Related sila. Um, alam ko po sinabi nyo na hindi po downgrade na nag-FEO kayo. Pero, paano po yun? Parang lagi po nilang sasabihin na galing kang DLSU, ganun. Ano po masasabi nyo kung yung tao po, graduate po sa UST SHS tapos nilipat ng FEO, natatakot po mabash? Last year, madaming nagsasabi na ang downgrade daw kasi galing akong DLSU, then nag-FEO ako. Um, all I can say is, hindi siya downgrade. Kung natatakot ka mabash, Honestly, huwag ka matakot mabash because decision mo yan eh. And that's your life. They don't have control over your life and your decisions. You know, if tingin mo na mas gusto mo mag-FEU and na mas mag-grow ka as a person sa FEU, then go for it. And huwag mo na lang isipin ko anong sasabihin ng ibang tao because honestly, it doesn't really matter. Kasi buhay mo naman yan. And for me kasi, since nga last year, madaming nagsasabi na ang downgrade daw, ganun. Doon sa curious cut na answer ko na yun, sinabi ko na hindi naman kasi nga siya downgrade because, I mean, every school, they have their own courses kung saan sila nag-excel. And MedTech is one of FEU's flagship courses. So, my advice is just don't mind them kasi wala naman silang magagawa sa choice mo. Eh. And don't let their opinions affect you kasi Hindi naman yun makakatulong sa pag-aaral. Hindi naman sila yung nagpapaaral sa'yo. So, di ba? If you really want to go to FEU and nag-hesitate ka just because natatakot ka mabash, um, ayun, wag mo nalang masyado isipin and don't dwell on it. That's your decision and ikaw yung nakakaalam kung anong mag-work for you, kung ano yung best for yourself. Honestly, yung mga tao kasi, Kahit anong gawin mo, hindi naman sila mawawala ng sasabihin. Diba? I mean, am I wrong? It's up to you na if you're gonna let that affect you. But, for me kasi, I really try my best to not think about what other people are saying na. So, especially if it's something like that na magjudge because of the school na downgrade daw, ganon. Kasi, di naman nila alam kung ano yung mga pinagdadaanan ng mga students. Di naman nila talaga malalaman what's going on inside if they're not there. So, they really can't say anything about it. Kasi, they're not in that situation. So, ayun. Ayun lang. <laughs> So, this is actually the most asked question. Um, what are your advice? or tips to incoming medtech freshies. Honestly, di ko alam ba't niyo ako tinatanong ito kasi most of the time, sobrang lutang ko. But, ano, siguro, my advice is to find a study habit that will work for you. Cause, sabi ko nga kanina, college, first year medtech, it's really a big adjustment and it's hard. So, if alam mo na yung study habit mo na mag-work sa'yo, mas, mas madadalian ka na siguro kasi alam mo na kung paano mo i-approach yung mga aralin mo. Kasi since maraming inaaral, like ako, last sem, sobrang na-overwhelm talaga ako sa dami. Nag-study ako ng gabi and hanggang madaling araw sometimes. Then I sleep. I really value sleep kasi mas nakakasagot ako pag natutulog ako. And next is, don't be easily discouraged. Kasi, since mahirap nga yung course, hindi talaga mawawala yung mababa yung quiz mo, yung test mo. Just don't dwell on those failures and isipin nyo na parang hindi nyo kaya. 
kasi feel ko kaya naman. <laughs> Coming from me, joke. Pero kaya naman kasi talaga as long as you really want it. Because if your heart is not in it, mas mahihirapan ka talaga. So connected to that, um, another advice or tip is to have fun learning. Because mahirap nga siya, di ba? So if you're having fun learning, mas madadalian ka. I guess kasi na-enjoy mo yung naaral mo eh. Ako kasi pag nag enjoy ako mag-aral, mas naaalala ko talaga siya. Another tip is manage your time well. So, medyo nahirapan ako doon dasem. As much as possible kasi I try my best to organize organize yung study schedule ko ganun. Pero most of the time hindi ko rin siya nasusunod kasi lagi ako natutulog. <laughs> But yeah, if you manage your time well, mas magiging madali for you kasi Ayun nga, as I've said earlier, sobrang dami nang inaaral. So, ang daming lessons yung aaralin mo. Tapos parang, pag inisip mo, hindi talaga siya kasha. So, ayun, just learn how to manage your time well. And, and know your priorities. So, prioritize your studies. Ayun lang. Um, another tip is to have a support system. Sobrang important ng support system for me. Kasi, They're gonna be the ones with you talaga. Buong sem, buong year, buong college life mo. And siguro, for me, yun talaga actually yung pinaka-important. Kasi, di ko alam if masasurvive ko yung first sem kung wala akong support system. Kasi, sobrang ma-breakdown kasi akong tao. So, sobrang lagi akong stressed. I guess. So, parang yung mga tao nasa paligid ko, they're the ones motivating me to continue. Sila din yung kasama mo sa mismong hardships eh. Lahat kayo magtutulungan, lahat kayo i-lift each other up. And another advice and tip is to join orgs because yun talaga yung parang nagpabago sa college life ko. Orgs kasi yun yung part na lumabas ako ng comfort zone ko and I tried new things and those were things na I didn't know na interested ako in the first place and na magugustuhan ko but I ended up loving them loving the people, loving the org loving the work and sobrang life changing lang for me because parang dun ako nag grow eh And mas nakilala ko pa yung sarili ko because of the orgs and the people I was with. To summarize this video, um, I hope you reach this end kasi sana pinakinggan niya lahat ng sinabi ko kahit sobrang daldal ko. But ayun, FU is a really great school. It's a great medtech school. And I hope that other people would stop judging FEU and the students just because they think it's a downgrade or it's lesser than other schools. Kasi lahat naman tayo dito nag-aaral and nag-work hard. And at the end of the day, lahat naman tayo ma-reach yung goal natin. Hopefully, if yun yung para sa atin. And, yeah, we should just all work hard and work together. Ayun lang, spread love, guys. Huwag <laughs> kayo mang bash dahil lang dun. Um, ayun, FAU has been my home for the past year and it's been a great freshman year kahit sobrang dami kong iniyak and <laughs> stress but I feel like I really grew talaga in FAU and I know I said this kanina na but madami akong natutunan and madami akong na-realize about myself and my capabilities and sobrang na-enjoy ko talaga yung freshman year ko. So, for the future medtech freshies or just future freshies, good luck guys and I hope you make the most out of your freshman year kasi feeling ko yun na yung pinakamadali talaga. 
And ayun, I hope you like this video and I hope you learn things from me. Kahit puro kasabugan lang siguro sinabi ko. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!